The moment you step into the forest on Christmas Island, there's this strange, sharp smell, like a trash bin full of rotting fish. But there's no bin. That smell comes from death itself, the aftermath of an invasion. The island isn't dying naturally, it's being overrun. Millions of yellow crazy ants, tiny, frantic, unstoppable, have turned paradise into a battlefield. They're not native here. They hitched a ride on cargo ships decades ago, and without any predators to keep them in check, they multiplied into super colonies stretching for miles. Within a few years, these invaders wiped out nearly 40 million of the island's red crabs, the very creatures that once shaped its forests and soil. The ants didn't just join the ecosystem, they hijacked it. They became a dominant, invasive force, burning through everything in their path with formic acid and sheer numbers. By the 2000s, scientists realized the ants weren't just a nuisance, they were an ecological disaster. The crabs were gone, the forests were collapsing, and even the air smelled of decay. So, to bring life back to this island graveyard, humans had to fight back but not with fire and not with poison. Instead, they turned to one of nature's smallest warriors. Not soldiers, not chemicals, wasps, millions of them. Christmas Island is a tiny remote dot in the Indian Ocean, closer to Indonesia than to mainland Australia. Yet this isolated rock hosts one of nature's greatest spectacles. Every year, Millions of red crabs march from the rainforest to the sea, painting the island in moving crimson. But that breathtaking migration is now under attack by one of the world's most destructive invaders, the yellow crazy ant. No one knows exactly where they came from, probably Southeast Asia, but we do know they thrive in warm, humid climates. The ants first arrived here by accident, likely hidden in cargo ships in the early 20th century. With no predators to stop them, they exploded across the island, forming massive interconnected colonies, super colonies, spanning hundreds of acres. Each one functions like a single giant organism, with multiple queens and billions of workers, expanding up to three feet a day. One colony alone stretched across 1,800 acres, three times the size of Monaco, and scientists estimate there can be over a thousand ants in every 10 square feet. That's not an ecosystem, that's an army. When that army meets a red crab, it's over. The ants spray formic acid, one of the most corrosive natural chemicals on Earth, right into the crab's eyes and joints. It blinds them, paralyzes them, and slowly dissolves their bodies. Within hours, the crabs die and the ants move in, taking over their burrows. In some areas, this wiped out entire crab populations, up to 15 million individuals, nearly a third of all red crabs on the island. Humans tried fighting back. Starting in 2001, park rangers launched a massive campaign using a bait called Ant Off. Laced with the insect neurotoxin, Fipronil, they spread it by hand across fields crawling with billions of ants, sometimes even by helicopter. It worked for a while, but the ants always came back, rebuilding from untouched corners of the island. Then researchers noticed something strange. These crazy ants couldn't survive without another invader, the yellow lax scale insect. These tiny insects feed on tree sap and release a sugary honeydew that the ants harvest like farmers. In return, the ants protect them from predators, a perfect partnership that quickly turns deadly. Together, they choke the forest, coating trees in sticky honeydew and black mold until the trees dry up and die. Scientists on Christmas Island had reached their breaking point. Poison didn't work, and the ants just kept coming back. Then someone proposed a daring new idea. 
If you can't kill the ants directly, cut off their food supply. Their main source? Scale insects. After months of searching, researchers discovered the perfect natural enemy, a microscopic wasp from Southeast Asia called Tacardiophagus somervilli. It's less than a tenth of an inch long, can't sting, and doesn't build nests. Its only job is to hunt down a scale insect, lay its eggs inside, and let its young feed on the pest from within. Brutal, but brilliant. In its homeland, this tiny wasp keeps scale insects so under control that they rarely become pests at all. Scientists brought 300 of them from Malaysia to Australia for testing. For three years, they checked everything. Would it harm other species? Could it spread too far? Turns out, it's laser-focused on scale insects and harmless to everything else. Finally, in 2017, they released 18,000 of these tiny wasps across four infested areas on Christmas Island. At first, no one knew if it would work. But within two years, researchers noticed something incredible. In some regions, crazy ant populations dropped by more than 99%. In one site, from 700 ants down to just 10. Suddenly, red crabs started returning. They dug burrows, mated, and marched to the sea once again. The island was breathing again. By 2024, scientists counted over 100 million crabs during migration, more than double the population before the WASP project began. For once, biological control had worked exactly as intended. Of course, it's not all over. Crazy ants still survive in some pockets, and the battle continues. But for the first time in decades, there's hope. See, on islands like this, every species plays a crucial role. Christmas Island's red crabs aren't just cute. They're ecosystem engineers. They eat fallen leaves and seedlings, keeping the forest in balance. Without them, the jungle clogs with rot, weeds take over, and the whole system collapses. It might look greener with the ants, but it's a dying illusion. Saving the crabs isn't just about one species. It's about bringing life back to the island. And here's the twist. The same insect most people swat without thinking might be saving an entire ecosystem. So next time you see a wasp buzzing nearby, maybe think twice before you panic. Because somewhere out there, its cousins are fighting a microscopic war for the fate of Christmas Island. Which side are you on? The ants, the crabs, or the wasps? Let me know in the comments. And while you're here, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss the next wild story.